Hi guys, it's Claire and Akira again. Today we are out and about on a walk and we're gonna be talking to you today about socialization and socializing your puppy even during lockdown. So socialization is the process of your puppy or dog learning to interact appropriately with people, other animals um, and in different environments and situations. So with the lockdown restrictions, you might think that that's a little bit difficult to do. So hopefully with some of what we're gonna be talking you through, you'll realize that that's not so hard. Whilst there's plenty of information out there about what we can't do, we're here to talk to you about the things that you can do. And there's plenty of ways that during lockdown you can still socialise your puppy, getting them out and about safely and within the guidelines to experience all the different sights, sounds and smells outside. If your puppy isn't yet vaccinated and you can't take them out on walks, you can still get them used to the outside world as much as you can. If you make use of any outside space that you've got, such as a front garden or a driveway, uh, and if you have neither of those, then even just sitting on your doorstep with your puppy, allowing them to take in the sights, the sounds and the smells of the world going by is still going to be really useful for them. Whilst your puppy might be full of energy, their walks aren't just about tiring them out and actually letting them take their time to slowly take in the world around them and realise there's nothing to worry about is what's really important. Even though we can only exercise certain amounts of times a day, don't forget that if there's more than one adult at home, then you can do your exercise separately and take your puppy out multiple times. Try and make use of this at different times of the day so they get used to different levels of light, shadows, and also in different weathers, like if it's raining uh, or perhaps if it's a little bit windy. You might think that social distancing is a negative in terms of socialising your puppy, but actually if your puppy's a bit like Akira, who's a little bit nervous and worried when she meets new people, then it's going to be a benefit for her that people can't come over and overwhelm her. Or if you've got a really excitable puppy who does want to say hi to everyone, that could lead to issues in the future if they're really exuberant and jumping at everyone that they meet. So perhaps this is going to be a really good time for, for them to learn calm behaviours around people that they don't know. Don't forget to try and get your puppy used to car travel, even during lockdown. Although travel should only be essential, if there's more than one of you at home, perhaps when you go for the weekly shop, one of you can sit with the puppy on their lap, holding them safely and sit with them while the other does the shopping. Food is a really great tool that we can use when training our dogs, but when out socialising, try not to use it all of the time. This might increase their expectation around things that we don't want them to find a big deal, such as if they see a car or see a person. 